What's up? It's the Nut House. Nut House. We out. are live at the uh, St. Pete Distillery in St. Pete. Our man Dan here is giving us a private tour, and we're gonna go see how liquor is made. No, no, no. Blah. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, this is very interesting, so uh, we might be drunk by the end of this video. We're definitely gonna be drunk by the end of this video. <laughs> Let's go! We're all about local. St. Petersburg Distillery, we're a craft distillery. We create spirits of the highest quality. We're all about local. We're all about supporting local, sustainable, and all about also being 100% green. We create spirits, again, using natural ingredients, local. We take our time, we don't cut corners. The spirits that we create, Crush it or mill it, we will then add our second natural ingredient, our water, and making sure the water is of the highest quality, it's been distilled, um, so purified. Uh, we then add our water and first step is our cooking. These are known as mash tanks or mash tanks. So we add our water, we add heat. That's a lot of mash. That's a lot of mash. So we add heat up to 180 to 200 degrees. Start cooking it. I think you can smell it. All well, this sugary, oh, yeah. nice sweetness, aroma. It's like thinking bread. Once we turn the liquid around, we will get a sugar liquid known as wort. That's what we're going to use. We also get a thick recipe to spend money. That we can give back to our local farms. So you see cows running around locally in the pastures, all happy. <laughs> They're all drunk. Boisterous. They're drunk off your stuff. Oh, no, no, no alcohol involved yet. <laughs> However, this, this um, residue is full of minerals, sugars, and just healthy good stuff. We then take our liquid, uh, which is known as wort, we will add it into one of our larger tanks. It will go into fermentation. This is where we are starting to convert sugar into alcohol. And we always ensure we get a good sugar level or high bricks level, which is a measurement of quality of sugar. We will then add our third natural ingredient, yeast, very similar to brewer's yeast. Uh, we'll also add some natural enzymes. We will then start to convert the sugar into alcohol. Some distilleries, they will ferment for a few days, two, three. We will ferment a little bit longer, ensuring that we create the highest quality uh, liquid. The good quality of the spirit as it comes in the bottle. Yeah, because honestly, if you were to take some other vodkas that I've had, and sip on that room temperature. You're gonna do one of these. You know, you drink this, and it was really smooth. It's a very, very, very soft, very elegant spirit, and as you can see behind you, after being out for four days, we lost an ankle. We were honored and humbled to receive an accolade as the one you're receiving. A little history lesson. And listen to this cat. To this so, hey, that's interesting to yeah, me. He's gonna be the first one to get drunk. So, of course, in front of me, you have uh, as mead is making a real comeback. Mead is the oldest elixir or drink known to man. Uh, Never heard of it. Me neither. Yeah. Mead actually predates wine and, wine and beer of thousands of years. Really? They found the first record of mead, 7,000 BC China. It then traveled along with old ancient routes into India around 3000 BC, 2700 BC, I believe. The Vikings, the Swedes, and the Norwegian Norsemen swore of me, they still do today. There they call it Njerd. In old Central Europe, the Poles, the Slovakians, the, the Czech, Czech Republic, the Balkans, they call it Njot. Njot in Slavic is honey. So it's basically a honey wine. Hmm. Um, when a man and a woman were married centuries ago, the parents' duty was for one month to give the husband, the newly married wife, a ration of meat every evening for a month. They became known as a honey. So one of my favorite top three. I'm 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 already about to do so. Yeah. That's my man. And the whiskey. Those are my top three. The whiskey was really good. Really, really good. But no, they're, I mean, they're all great. They're all super smooth. Um, but yeah, my three would be vodka, the whiskey, and the spice rum. So bomb. Now you said this is top shelf, yeah. and this is your premium. Yeah. But this is in the category of itself because this is the first <laughs> liquor known <laughs> to man. 
did. That's all. Huh? Did anybody else make? Which was pretty good. Uh, the entire DNA, quality, and we strive for the best quality. Highest ingredients, local, and now, of course, building our brand. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for being here from, from uh, Wildline 4.1. You know, we're, we're very humble, and you know, from the accolades to people like yourselves helping us spread the great gospel of quality, local spirits.